Larry Page and Sergey Brin, who founded Alphabet more than 20 years ago after graduating from Stanford, have stepped away from their executive roles at the parent company of Google. The current chief executive of Google, Sundar Pichai, has taken on the role as chief for both companies. Sundar Pichai was born in Madurai, Tamil Nadu, India in June of 1972. He attended Wharton Business School, Stanford University and IIT Kharagpur. Before he joined Google, he was employed as a consultant for McKinsey & Company. It was back on April 1, 2004 when he attended his first interview with Google. Mr. Pichai is widely considered to be responsible for creating the Google Chrome browser. It was also him that took over the Android business from Andy Rubin, its original founder. Only a year after Pichai took over Android, 1 billion devices were shipped by Google. Pichai was in charge of product and engineering at Google's internet business before he eventually became CEO in 2015. As the new CEO of Alphabet, Pichai will have to take care of several challenges that the company faces, including antitrust investigations and an insurgence by internal employees. It would be extremely difficult to find anything negative about Pichai. He is quite reserved compared to those that ran the company before him. Pichai is likely going to bring more awareness to issues that Alphabet is involved with and get rid of the matters that are not necessary for the company. In India, Pichai was brought up in a humble setup. He lived with his family in a small apartment that contained only two bedrooms. Because there was no bedroom for Pichai, him and his younger brother had to sleep on the living room floor. He is now the lone executive in charge of Alphabet, which is involved in a variety of businesses that include smartphones, maps, advertisements, and even drone deliveries. For Google, these changes will mark the end of an era. Page and Brin have embodied Alphabet since its establishment and have served as two of the greatest influential figures in the field of technology. They have even rivaled figures such as Bill Gates and Steve Jobs, who founded Microsoft and Apple. The two will still remain as directors on Alphabet's board and keep their places as the company's two largest individual shareholders. They will still have a generous amount of control over the board as they will still keep a majority of the voting shares for the business. This will allow them to continue to have some control and input over the future of the company. According to Forbes, Page and Brin are the sixth and seventh richest people in the world, making approximately $58.9 billion and $56.8 billion, respectively. India-born Sundar Pichai is an exception to the norm, as he is one of the few good people that is managing to run a near trillion-dollar company. See you again.